You can grow all of this in less than two weeks. They're microgreens. They're fun and easy to grow, and they're healthy for you. Now, I've been showing people how to easily do this with some adapters I made. Turns ordinary bowls, baking dishes, bottles into self-watering containers. And if you've been on my channel a while, you've seen me using clay pebbles. That's a grow medium, something for the roots to hold on to. Now, this works fine, but it is a pain trying to clean them and get all the old roots out. Then you have to wash it. Some people sterilize it. Let them dry out before you use them again. So people ask me to find something different. And I've been experimenting with this. Sand. So far, it's come out pretty cool. So we've been trying it with our refillable adapter. The one where we can take the bottle out, refill it, put it back in so you can get a longer grow. We're experimenting with different kinds, but they basically work the same. The bottle keeps a steady amount of water in the bottom. You don't have to worry about taking care of your microgreens two or three times a day. These are only about a week old, and they're doing amazing. Now we're growing indoors because it's close to 100 outside. But as soon as it cools down, we're going to be filling our shade house up again with all types of microgreens. Now here, you can see sand looks pretty good. You can see the little tiny roots going all the way to the bottom. And there's no algae in it. So we're going to do many more experiments like this. And for now, we're going to take this one and harvest it. So let's go back to the beginning. I'll show you how to set it up. First, this adapter fits on a long neck bottle. And you just want to see where the bottle top stops inside the adapter when you put it on. And that's about the level you want to fill your initial bowl of water with. It's about an inch or so. Now you just fill your bottle completely up. And I'm using nutrients here. I'll have a different video on that. I take the adapter, it just slides on easily, and flip it up into the bowl. It'll find its level. And then I'm just gonna take some play sand, normal play sand. This says it's safe for kids' sandboxes and in the garden. Do not use the sand for pavers. That has a glue in it. You don't want that stuff. So normal play sand, this was about five and a half bucks for this big bag. And I'm just gonna toss it in here. We'll get this filled up. It's kind of like playing at the beach. And being from Florida, kind of used to this. Now what I like about the sand is you can smooth it out with your hands. Get a nice level top. You'll be able to evenly distribute your seeds and they won't fall to the bottom like they do with the clay pebbles. All right, I got some pock choy seeds from Greener Harvest Seeds. And we're just gonna sprinkle some on top. Now I don't measure, you can if you want. There's a lot of guides online they tell you how dense you should plant your microgreens. I just do like this. Then we can spread them out. That way you don't have them all bunching up in one spot. And I just cover it up with foil. If you don't like that, just find something else. All you want to do is keep these seeds damp. That way they don't dry out before they germinate. And I just set that aside, spritz it with water once in a while, make sure they don't dry out. And after they germinate, like three to four days, pull the foil off and then let them go about another four days. You'll have something like this. I'm going to harvest about a third of these by just cutting them and leaving the roots in. We're experimenting. Then another third, I'm going to pull the roots out. 
and then another third we're just going to leave put some more nutrients in here and see how it goes so let's go ahead and do all that you can see nice microgreens and if you let them grow this tall and you cut up away from the sand so you don't get a whole lot of sand and your greens kind of like collards and that right now if you do just put these in a big bowl of water microgreens will float to the top sand will sink to the bottom now this section like i said we're going to pull out the roots and everything and see how that goes because i want to see how the roots look and we'll see if there's any algae down here and so far this one looks pretty good you can see the roots going all the way down through the sand we're just going to rinse this off that way we get a better look at the roots it's a nice white healthy roots and awesome microgreens now this makes it easy to cut the roots off Now growing them a little longer like this, and some people are worried about it being leggy, that gives me room to remove the roots. That goes in the compost, and I still get a good bit for the microgreens. Alright, we'll finish up this third of it. And I decided to go get one of my ramen trays, just cut the root off. And then I'll go ahead and wash all that sand out at once and see what it's going to be like replanting one of these. And after we get those out, I'm going to remove these other roots here because I don't want them to just sit in there and rot. So we'll clean all that up. Now the sand's a little lower on this side and I don't want the microgreens that are left to kind of fall over and start leveling out all around it. So I'm just gonna throw a little bit of play sand back in here just to fill it in. This is just sand right out of the bag. I'm not doing anything to it. And notice I'm not packing it down. So that's another thing we're experimenting with. It's just put in there nice and loose. And I'm going to set this back. Let that go for another week and we'll see how it does. Now we're going to put these microgreens in the fridge. You can have those soup, salads, toss them on anything. Nice, healthy, flavorful awesomeness. Now let's clean these off. Now this is just how I tried it. There's probably a thousand different ways to do this, but I just hit them with the sprayer on the hose and most of it came off. So I'm gonna take those roots to the compost. I'm gonna take all of these and rinse them all off. So we get most of it off. We're not getting every bit. You know, six bucks for a huge bag of sand is like no big deal. So I'm just seeing if we can reuse this. So you can go through, pull out what you can, and then fill it up, shake it around. Just like in science class, the sand goes to the bottom, and all the light stuff floats up on top. And you can just put that in your little pile of compost and pour off the rest. You can see it didn't take but a couple of minutes and the sand's already pretty clean. Now I'll put it with the rest of the sand and scoop off some of these other microgreens that are laying around on the top. This will go into our compost pile and we're gonna swish this around a little bit. Mix everything up. 
That way all the loose stuff will float to the top. Most sand will fall to the bottom. And then we'll just pour it off. Nice and easy. You don't want to pour all your sand out. And you see there's a little bit of stuff in there. This is the time if you want to put a little H2O2 or hydrogen peroxide and let it set for a day, you can go ahead and sterilize it like that. Me, I'm going to just try to rinse this out. It was only in there about 10 days. See how clean it comes and then reuse it. See if we have any issues. But basically, that's how I do things. I just keep testing. You can see the sand came up pretty clean. And it didn't take but a couple of minutes. I love it. Now, the sand's pretty wet, right? Just dump off some of the water. And I've got it sitting in a ramen tray here. I took one of our self-watering trays. One's got holes in it, so I put a little piece of paper towel, just like sand at the beach. It all settles to the bottom. You can pour off most of the water, and I'm gonna set it in this one, like a little strainer. Like I said, there's probably a thousand ways to do it, but this is just the stuff I have, and this is just the way I did it. To get the rest of it, I just put a little more water in it, Get it all out of there. And we're just going to let that set in the sun. So I hope that helps. The adapters are in my Etsy shop. Sand you can get from any home improvement store. Make sure it's just play sand. Nice and cheap. And for microgreens, you can use just water. If you want to use nutrients and grow them out to baby greens, I've got a video on nutrients. And hopefully you can see how easy this was. Planting it out, harvesting, cleaning. It doesn't take much time, and you can grow a lot of food like this without that much effort. All right, guys, live to inspire. Keep on growing. Be the change. We'll catch you next time.